Thank you. So, I had a very lovely English teacher. She once said, you know what? We will read a book I like, not what I'm supposed to read with you. It was Dead Poet Society. And this quote really made an impact uh, on me. Do you remember when you last time followed this quote, going the unknown path? Probably as a child. This is my nephew. Oh, he's gorgeous. Look at him, how he's going into failure, risking things, always going the unknown path. It's so beautiful. And I'm like a child all day, all, all night. And it's more important than ever to act like a child, because this is Sal Khan, probably one of the most important education guys in the world. He says, I believe that the way we teach and learn is at a turning, turning point that we experience only once in 1,000 years, not in 10, 100, or 200, in 1,000 years. Something really is going on, on out there, and we have to change a lot. So that's, that's my first part, starting the unknown video project. I was doing quite well in university, um, had my own first little startup, and then I discovered on YouTube MIT and Stanford courses in mathematics. I said, gosh, what, what's this? I'm learning math, laying half naked on my bed Sunday evening. It's, it's unbelievable. This, this has to be something. And I said, I have to do it. I have to try it for Germany. So I said, let's produce math tutorials, but not one hour and a half. Short, five minutes, learning nuggets, and putting out everything on YouTube. Nothing happened. Little views. Everyone said to me, this is nothing. Video learning, that will never be something. But I kept going and going and going since 2011. Every week, a math tutorial, 2,500 today. So, what happened? <laughs> ah. The picture with the Superman is not from me. A mother sent it to me with a letter. Daniel, we had problems in family learning with our children. And then we discovered you. And we had a personal coach, and we could help our kids. Look at the, the, the pie. Uh, the circle number, it's, it's, not, it's crazy. Right? Um, there is a quote from, from an app, Yodel, probably students know Yodel, the app. It's translated, Daniel Jung saved more asses than doctors and gyms together. So that's the feedback. I screenshot it because you wouldn't believe me. It's the picture with a skateboard. I had to sign a skateboard at the University of Vienna. And they said, you are, you are Justin Bieber for us. <laughs> you, I said, OK, what's the nice thing about it? It's not only beauty, fashion, sports anymore on this influencer side. Education is becoming like there are rock stars in education. It's beautiful. Not, not to only learn with videos but to give a push that you say, I love mathematics. And that's my, my hashtag, let's rock Mathe for the German market. It's like black milk, you know? let's rock and math. But you see it, when, when I visit uh, uh, universities, it's like a big party, uh, we're celebrating math. And that's, that's even more shocking to me, it's 130 million, 140 million, today it's 145, and that's exponential growth. 100 million views came by the last two years. So I had to be persistent. 1.5 million views per day. What's going on out there? It's, it's crazy. And now I can talk to my students about exponential growth and why it really matters. This is by far the most important uh, slide for you, for your kids, for everyone. Now, in 2018, we're at a tipping point, well, better said, at a takeoff point, where more and more things are happening in shorter, shorter times, and we have to be prepared. We have to prepare our kids for this. This is not any, uh, any longer about um, getting stuff into the head. 
It's about radical new skills, radical new behavior, and it's all combinatorial. It's coming together at one point. This changes everything. But there, I see no change. In the far majority, it's like this. We don't change the architecture. We're talking about digitization and iPads and this and that. And what about the architecture? Look at the new co-working spaces. So five years ago, I said, let's combine a children's room with a workspace and build up a co-learning space for kids. And I was, like I always have been, I bought the real estate, I put all my money in this, I build up like, like a co-learning space and everyone looked at me, what are you doing there? Where's your, where's your business model? I said, I have no business model. I want to provide a new, new environment. It crashed horrible. Everything went down. It's, it's, all my money was gone away. So I had to switch the model to a workspace, believing that one day I will connect the dots. And meanwhile, going the unknown with new people, two students, meanwhile, from Paderborn, wrote me on Facebook. We have an idea. We saw your videos. We want to do something for students to pass exams. And I said, OK, going into my car, driving to Paderborn, two hours. Let's have a meeting. And they said, we want to do small courses, three days to pass exams. I said, OK, let's do it. Four years later, 200 cities, 1,000 courses. And with the revenue, now we open up co-learning spaces, connecting the dots. And in these co-learning spaces, we provide teachers becoming coaches, not teachers anymore, giving stuff from my head in your head, but being like a coach, having robotic courses. Why do kids should deal with robotic? Because your phones are little robots connecting with each other. The world around us is radical new. So we have to build up something from the outside. And I have to be in it. I have to do something. So, online, offline, what about digital learning? I said, all those traffic happening on YouTube. I mean, can you imagine on YouTube, 1.5 million views per day, it's on YouTube to sell your ads. And I said, well, last year, let's do a coding project. I want to have my own digital platform. And now I have to talk to coders. Have you ever talked to coders? <laughs> it's really going the unknown. Apache, Django, Python. What are you talking about? But I'm so curious. It's so nice. Lifelong learning. Something new. It's, I'm, ah, it's. So, the platform is there. I'm tracking the data to personalize education. See, when is somebody asking a question? What question is it? What answer comes from whom? That's for me tracking data. And then I can deal with artificial intelligence to learn in this program. Five years from now, Spotify will do that. You will use Spotify and learn the Spotify. And someday, Spotify will tell you, good news, it's Sunday, 7 o'clock, your best learning time. And guess what? You are a video learner. Here's a video for you. It's, off. it's awesome. It's not that we don't come together on site anymore. It's wonderful to help us to personalize, personalize education. So, the future of education is unknown. It's whether offline only or online only, it's a circle. And the knowledge is always in your pocket. The far majority is using the smartphones for, hey, I'm here, eating this and that. Instead of going into the phone, having on the job knowledge. It's exponential. We need new skills. We will have permanent new jobs. It's disruptive, on demand, individual. It's so crazy. When I give talks, always the people ask me, crazy shit, it's so much. What should we do? I say, the first thing is you have to understand everything is changing radically. And that is what will happen. 
and by the next 10 years, because artificial intelligence is a key technology, and most of the companies will disappear, and new jobs will come permanently, and every process will be managed by artificial intelligence. And here are the good news. Let's be like kids again. Be brave, experimental, curious. These are skills. And people look at me, you're crazy like an alien. These are no skills. Where is, where's your profession? I said, this is what you have to do. Dive into the unknown, try things. Risk failure, learn from failure. I've been doing it for 20 years and I'm quite happy. So that's my mission. Every time I, I give a speech in front of students, in front of you, lovely guys, when I can reach one of you, being like a kid again, telling your kids what the future, what the future is like, use this, be brave, be experimental. I'm very happy. Thank you very much.